Hey, what's going on? It is the Dark Show here, and today I'm going to bring you all another LEGO review. So this is the LEGO Jurassic World T-Rex and Atrociraptor Dinosaur Breakout. It is set number 76948. It comes with 466 pieces, 4 minifigures, 2 dinosaurs, and it, and it comes with uh, this vehicle here, and it also comes with this little playset area right here as well. But yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the set itself, with the first minifigure being Owen Gray, as you can see right here. Yeah, he does, it's pretty much the standard uh, Owen Gray that we got in the past quite often, and he does come with dual printing on the headpiece and torso, and he also does come with uh, leg printing as well, as you can see right there. And he does come with a pistol as well, which is actually quite interesting to see that they actually inputted a Lego pistol into this set instead of having it being a regular tra tranquilizer gun. So yeah, that was an actually really interesting to see instead of it being, you know, like the standard tranquilizer pistol. They actually give them an actual gun, <laughs> which I think is hilarious, but actually quite nice to see in Lego form again, but yeah. On to the next minifigure that we have right here. It is uh, Rain Delacorte. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but yeah. He does come in this set, and he does come with uh, printing on the leggings and also dual printing on the headpiece and torso, as you can see right here. And he does come with a tranquilizer gun as well, as you can see right here, with a yellow... Um, syringe as you can see as well but yeah on to the next minifigure that we have right here the next minifigure that we have is Sonia Santos and she does come with leg printing and also dual printing on the headpiece and torso as you can see right here and she does come with this uh, tranquilizer gun as well and then last but not least we have Claire Deering and she does come with dual printing on the headpiece and torso as you can see right here and yeah she doesn't come with anything else but yeah it is nice to have this figure and different clothing instead but yeah now on to the dinosaurs themselves so the first one we have right here is of the Atrociraptor as you can see right here and this is actually a different molding for the headpiece pretty much same body design like for the Dilophosaurus and uh, like the original Gallimimus they had like way back in 2015. But yeah, now it has this uh, brand new molding for the headpiece as you can see right here. And I think it's really interesting to have it in this size instead of like the regular sized uh, Velociraptors instead. Because they look around the same height in the movies, but maybe I'm wrong. Uh, but yeah, on to the final dinosaur within this set. It is of the Tyrannosaurus, which is quite interesting because, um, like in the movie, uh, like when they're at uh, Mal Malta, there there is actually no Tyrannosaurus within this scene. I kind of wish they had like the Carnotaurus in this scene, but you know, like every Jurassic World set has to have a Tyrannosaurus in it, so they just include it in this one. Which is a bit disappointing because it would have been nice to have another Carnotaurus or even uh, a brand new Allosaurus into uh, the set because those were like the two main ones that were in uh, that scene of the Black Market in uh, Malta. Uh, but yeah, it is actually a really nice um, dinosaur printing as well for the Tyrannosaurus. I do really like the dark break dark uh, brownish coloring for the tiger stripes on here as well but yeah you can be able to open his mouth you can be able to move uh, his ar her arms and also her legs as well and yeah on to the actual set itself so we have this delivery truck that you can actually be able to open up and also be able to take this off as well it's basically a containment area for uh, the Atrociraptor and you can be able to take this out as well and then place the Atrociraptor in like such there we go and then slide right that in there and then close it up 
and then you'll be able to sit on there and then transport it to wherever you want it to be. <laughs> but yeah, and you'll be able to sit a minifigure into there. That was a bad example of how to actually take it off, but it should be able to take it off like this and then place a minifigure into there. Uh, but yeah, it's a pretty nice build and it pretty much covers like the entirety of the set for like the actual pieces overall. Like the actual display model itself is actually quite small, but I'm quite okay with it. But yeah, so this is pretty much like, like for the display set itself, it's definitely for like a destructive type uh, set. Like you'd be able to knock these down all over the place. Like it's basically built to be knocked down and destroyed by like the Tyrannosaurus or the Tyrannosaurus but yeah, I do like this little scene right here of like these different dinosaur uh, eggs right here and also the amber uh, pieces right in there as well. Uh, but yeah, there's pretty much nothing else to this set. It's basically built to be uh, broken down and destroyed by like the dinosaurs. Uh, but yeah, on to the instruction booklet itself. So in the back here, you can be able to see all the different types of dinosaurs that are included into this set. And I do actually have uh, this one's this set now, which I'm actually really excited to build because I've always wanted to have a Giganotosaurus and a Therzinosaurus uh, into Lego form, which is actually quite nice. And I think the other one I really want to get is of uh, the uh, how do you say it? Uh, the Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatlus, Quintasolus, I think that's how you say it. But yeah, it's like one of the biggest uh, known pteranodons like ever found in uh, uh, within uh, paleontology history, which is actually really cool to see. Uh, but yeah, I'm actually really excited to build them. And it does show you on this page of all the sets that are included right there as well. But yeah, I do have that set, and I'm actually really excited to build it because, especially because uh, Alan Grant is in that set, set as well. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it for that. Now on to the actual box itself. So here's what the front looks like. And then on to the back. Second, this is what the back looks like as well, as you can see right here. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much it for this set. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more great content. And I will talk to you all later. Dark Shadow out.